Okay, now I have all my frames laid out. I deleted the other layers, and now I have this little animation. So you can see I have this animation with the shadows. It's really great. And then what I can do is in Flash, by the way, I can raise this up a little bit. I don't need to have all that. Okay, I can open up my property window and click on the background layer. Notice I've got the black selection tool here. And uh, click on the background layer the gray area outside of my uh, outside of my scene here and I can change the background color right so I'll change it let's say to maybe a dark green or maybe it's too dark so I'll pick a, a lighter color and you can see that now my shadow takes on the color of the background because the shadow is see-through it has transparency um, so that's quite nice and so I can play and when to make a flash movie you hit control hold down the control key and hit the enter key and it makes a flash movie so this is what you would see on the website now um, I've got some um, and notice the the movie loops right so it repeats but what I might try to do is um, I might try to move him so that he jumps in place and to do that what I would want to do is move um, move the character right and uh, try to make it so that he doesn't seem to jump forward so what I might do is is go to view rulers and then drag out a ruler that shows where the ground is right and maybe where his left toe is right and maybe where the right foot is right and then I could adjust each frame so I go forward to the next frame right dragging the red um, uh, playhead right and I see that there he's there he's good and then on the next one he kinda slides over and I'm also noticing that on this third frame I'm getting some anti-aliasing some haloing I don't really like what's happening here with uh, with the leg here it didn't seem to import very well so what I might go back is clean up my Photoshop file right and um, clean this up in Photoshop. It seems like I, I got this haloing effect happening on frame three, and then re-import it. Look, it almost seems like I've got two objects in here. It's, frame three is not very good, so I, I think I need to re-import just um, the character, my son, on frame three, and make sure that none, uh, none of this, this other stuff comes in. So I might redo that. But for right now, I'll just accept it since you guys are here. Uh, but I will be changing that myself. And on frame three, he kind of moves a little bit. So I'll get my selection tool. And then I'll use the arrows on the keyboard and slide him over a little bit and down. So now I can also use the um, comma and the period to toggle back through the frame. So the comma on the keyboard is left and the... Um, and I can go back and forth in the frames by using the comma and the period. The period uh, is, advances the playhead, the comma um, retreats the playhead. So now I've got one, two, three, and then four. You can see he, he moves quite a bit. So what I'll do is maybe move him up. Of course, I'll have to move the, um, I'll have to move the shadow too eventually. Um, and then on the next one, maybe move this up and then see how I like see how I like the um, the action I might like that a lot better right and then on the next one move that so even though it looked good in the video and that's how he really was moving in this case it might look better to have him kind of anchored to the same area in the ground might give the whole piece um, a lot more continuity so now he's up off the ground so I can make him jump right the next one he's still in the air down a little and then he lands and make him land on the 
ground. So now, and if I wanted to, he's kind of moving to the left. I could make him um, move to the right. Once again, I will re-import just the frames that don't look like here. I've got some uh, haloing, some aliasing happening here. I don't like it, so I'll probably re-import those. And then the last one, he lands and maybe put that here. And then I might slide this over and go to the previous frame, slide that over. Previous frame, that over, and then the previous frame, slide that over, higher, slide all of these over, And of course, I'm just kind of fooling around here with the placement. And you can see now he jumps more in place, and it seems like uh, maybe slightly better animation. The other thing I can do to slow down my animations is make the frame rate slower and also let the end of the movie last longer. So I could go out to frame 30, go here and hit F5 on my keyboard, F. Five, and then hit this one F5, click on the background and change my frame rate to 10 frames per second let's say, hit control enter and now he moves a lot slower and then stops right and I could even slow it down a little bit more let's say to 9 frames per second and extend this out here highlight that, and hit F5 and so then he It animates and then stops. Once again, I've really got to go in and clean up these frames that aren't looking good and then re-import them using um, Photoshop to flash. And I've got to put my shadows back on and make the shadows fall in place. So anyway, but that gives you an idea of what you're, it's going to take to make your animation and make it work. All right, great. Oh, one other thing. Um, the other thing that I could do is, is I could make a new layer and I'll take drag this layer to the bottom so now one of the thing that we've got to do is is make a new layer right so now I have boy shadows and then this layer and then some text and get a yellow color and write the word jump right then I could get my transform tool here, pull down the shift key or not, and move it. All right. Jump. Just like that. And now I can even highlight that text, go to filters, and add a drop shadow. All right. And now when I hit control enter, he jumps in front of the text. All right. 